Well, happy Monday, everybody, and good afternoon. Um, can you believe it's been more like 40 days already? We're in this um, change of, of lifestyle that we have uh, embraced, and a lot of people have still not uh, able to accept yet the changes um, in what's happening around, right? Um, first of all, you have got to work on the adapting the new circumstances right away. Learn to embrace it, learn to um, be able to um, pivot whatever way you, you run your business, live your life, because the world is as the way it is right now. But look at the good things that we have right now, which, which is the internet. If you are watching this video, if you can see me here, you have internet and you have either a computer or, or, a, or a smartphone and that is good enough. That is absolutely fabulous, you know, that you can actually run your life through the internet as well. Um, but you have to be able to um, accept that, you know, that, that there's changes that you need to start doing, not wait and see uh, for things to happen. And you notice people who have waited and to, to say, oh, when this thing is going to be over, they said that in March, right? Back in March, they said, oh, this thing will pass end of March. And then April happened. Now it's May and for some countries it's in June. So it's so important for you to immediately pivot and apply and, um, you know, get get with the with the now so that your future will change okay and i see it with a lot of love for all of you and it's not like i'm i'm putting down challenges out there you face challenges all of us do we are all in the same um environment we all face common the common situation but it's about what can you do with whatever you have right now to start applying in your life so that you can still maintain your economy, your income, your um, livelihood, your uh, maybe your lifestyle is changed, changed, but keep on going for the purpose that you are meant to serve while you are alive, right? Your purpose doesn't change, your goals and dreams does not change, it's the way you achieve. Um, may need to change, all right? And this also relates to the topic of money and the mindset around money. And I love this topic because I have been applying this topic on myself, looking at myself as a guinea pig on how I used to see money, how I earned money, and how I I I thought money comes to me because of, because of a certain way, right? And uh, hello, hello Nuridin Islam, thank you for watching. Hi Tahira, yes, all is good. Uh, I hope you're all well. Uh, thank you for watching. Yeah, so it is all of those things that I mentioned about how you see money and how you view money. It also affects the way you run a lot of things in your life, in your relationships, and in your business, okay? So a lot of times people uh, expect money to come from one source, um, either a spouse or a uh, work or um, the, the economy, the, the market. And sometimes it doesn't go as planned, um, just like right now, right? This is a big lesson on why you must always look at what the current market is in order for you to cater your products or services to your target market, to, to your group of people or the message that you're meant to serve to your group of people and how it should be delivered. And this is something that a lot of times um, your money, your mindset around money also affects the kind of um, income or the flow of income in your life and how you see you deserve it, right? So sometimes people see things like, oh, that person can be successful because they come from a rich family or she is just lucky or she's gorgeous that's why she's fit she is rich or she has a rich husband that's why she is fortunate you know and that is putting a lot of power externally and it's not claiming the right for you to be prosperous and each and every one of us are meant to be able to receive you just need to learn to receive all right and that 
a lot involves with your belief system, how you were brought up, probably within your DNA, things, emotions, unconscious, subconscious, the conscious even that is taking up a lot of your belief system. All right. So with that, I want to share some pointers about money mindset and how the money mindset of an individual ex affects the way they do their business, the way they get incomes, the way they are in their relationships, the way they they think that they, they ought to be in their relationships as well. It is all about this mindset around money, whatever money means to you, right? For me, money is a tool for you to carry on your purpose. It can come in dollar notes. It can come in jewelry. Money can be in the ability to travel. Money is a tool. It's, it's actually an energy that takes you to where it is that you want to go. So when the mindset around it is a Affected. a lot of things in your life is affected too so let's talk about this this coming wednesday and it's only open to ladies because this is my feminine leadership meetup and i would love to support women around their money mindsets especially those who think that they may not be as good or be able to uh, contribute as much uh, in their families because of being a woman or because of their role in their in their families again it is all about your mindset and your beliefs around money so we'll be addressing this and relating it to women in particular and how we can um, claim our worth our god-given worth god has given us the ability to receive uh, and he is he is making resources available to you um, but it is whether you want to claim it or whether you want to receive it or you believe you will or you deserve to receive it in the first place. Sometimes your mouth says, I deserve money, I deserve success. But a lot more things going on inside you blocks you from receiving them. So we'll address this. Let's get excited. 10 o'clock Wednesday. Ladies, come and register. You can PM me and say yes. How do I get in? I would like to get into the Zoom room. Um, I'll send you the link and let's let's talk about this. I welcome you into the feminine leadership community because I believe women can lead with their femininity, their feminine leadership, and also create wealth around it at the same time. With that, lots of love. Have a wonderful day. Stay home, stay safe, and spread love and respect. Bye-bye.